Hi, my name is Sam Dhanishekaran and welcome to this series of database lessons. In the previous couple of videos, we talked uh, about Oracle files being uh, uh, stored in either a raw device or a file system or an Oracle ASM or a cluster file system. So in this video, we'll talk about what is a raw device. Okay, let me try my best to explain this by giving an analogy. Let's just say that you have been given a plain field to store your stuff. Just a vast plain field. No gates, no gatekeeper, no loading or unloading area. So let me just try to draw a field. Okay, just a plain field. And you go and put your stuff there. You throw all your stuff there. Okay. And to keep your stuff it would be very easy for you to wander into that plain field and keep your stuff there. The same applies for retrieval too. You just go in there and then pick your stuff and then come back. However, you will not be able to arrange anything in an orderly fashion as there are no partitions or rooms like in a warehouse environment. Okay. So, a raw device can be thought of something similar to that. Once a storage device, for example, hard drive, gets connected to a computer, then using it as it is will make it a raw device. There will not be any operating system buffers to go through. Okay, I'll explain this in the next video. Uh, you cannot have any files in a pure raw device as files are always uh, files always belong to a file system. Okay. However, you can uh, map the entire device to a virtual data file or a device file uh, in Unix or a device in Windows and use it. Okay. So basically, that's it. You you get a hard drive, and then you don't install any file system on it and basically that entire hard drive you use it as a as a, a raw device so the advantages and disadvantages advantages if handled efficiently it will improve the performance as the os buffering activities will be skipped right so in a environment Generally, you may have uh, uh, applications running on top of OS, which creates the file system, and then it talks to the hard drive, right? So in this case, Oracle is the application talks to the OS, and then the OS, uh, let's just say, you know, apps is installed on OS. Let me not introduce one more factor here. So Oracle applications sitting on the OS and then it to access the storage device you know instead of going through the file system it goes directly to the storage device and it uses it as a raw device since uh, it's being used as a raw device it cannot store any uh, it cannot store multiple files in there the entire raw device will be used to store one file one virtual file you can call. So there will be no file management. So again let me recap. The advantages if handled efficiently it will improve the performances because it avoids one layer. And the disadvantages no file management. For example if you want to have like uh, five data files then you have to have five, five R devices. Thank you.